Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is trading up 49. Nasdaq's up 27. S&P's are up 11. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Steve Rose, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve has an outstanding show every day right here at TFNN. Also, has a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Mastering Probability. Come over to our website at TFNN. Go into newsletters. You're going to see Mastering Probability right on the right-hand side. You get it for one month for $149. Six months for six ninety five, which is a savings of one hundred ninety nine dollars at twenty two percent, and one full year at eleven ninety five, which is a savings of five hundred ninety three dollars and thirty three percent. Now, when you get it, folks, okay, you're getting all the tools that Steve has developed, and they're huge. And you know, if you go back even a couple of weeks in the archive, you're going to see all the signals that he gives you each and every day. Okay, the amount of information that is in Steve's letter is absolutely phenomenal. Get over there and try it. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Hey, I'm waiting for fall to kick in already. It's 90 degrees here. Uh, listen, man, it's been pretty intense. Same way. When I left Steve last Saturday, the heat index was 105. It's like, oh, man, yeah. we're getting smoked down here, folks. <laughs> it's just like, and it's all about that humidity, you know? It just doesn't come up. No doubt. Yeah. But yeah, anyway, the, yeah. cape, the cape was awesome. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. Hey, you know, and I, when I turned in uh, just to log in and everything, I heard you talking about... Uh, the spies and the Qs and so forth. You know, if we take a look at the spy and the Dow Diamonds on a daily basis, yes. it's got a confirmed A to B equals C D pattern to the upside. There we so go. So the, like the, the, the spy took out that August 30th swing point, which had 62 million shares, and uh, we passed it with uh, 75 million shares on uh, September 19th. So that's it. so. You, so your your discussion about hey, you're building cause makes a lot of sense, moving sideways because of because of the movement that we had last week. And um, so this is suggesting we get up to 593. Uh, and I think, and I, and I, I, I think like you, if the queues can get going and get above that swing point, yeah. the one from the uh, 22nd, I believe it was August 22nd. Yes. You know, it's got 37 million shares. If we can get above that, which is also a TD9 count top, you talk about the different tools in the newsletter. If we can take that out, and certainly if we do it with volume, you know, then we get back to its highs or, or beyond that or what have you. We also have a confirmed A to B equals CD to the upside inside the Dow Diamonds. I so love it. it I, I know. I just point. brought this up, Stephen. Thank you, oh, man. Okay. You're bringing oh, it no up problem. because. It's intense, man. And, you know, what's really cool is enough bearishness out there. <laughs> I don't That's blame sure. him. I mean, but it is what it is. You know what I mean? It's like, hey, man, this is going higher. And Yeah, even even the IWM, Tom, a confirmed A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. So I think the markets are just waiting for the cues. You know, we know you've taught us the cues can certainly drag everything up and drag everything down. So what are they going to what are they going to get on board with the A to B equals CD pattern? That's the question. Exactly. Exactly. Pretty cool. So I thought I would also do, you know, we talked about the newsletter and I wanted to share with folks what's what's inside it. And so it's inside the daily newsletter. I first started off with the um, uh, with the uh, with the current market position inside mastering probability, and this is really the same set of uh, instruments that uh, were being looked at by the uh, Timer Digest folks. Yes. So it was the S and P via the ES, and I look at the ES Mini Gold and uh, 30 Year Treasury. So I've got that listed here, uh, as well as this, as well as the the offsetting the SPY, the GLD, and the TLT. Uh, very popular instruments. Most of our, our listeners uh, um, uh, trade those at one point or another. And at least this provides you with what the current daily and uh, weekly outlook positions are and where support or resistance is. So that's going to help folks, you know, as prices uh, even move, whether it's moving higher or moving lower. And then what follows next is, uh, is what I do is is uh, give folks kind of a feel for anything that I'm looking at on an intraday basis worth noting. So, for example, this is from this morning's newsletter, and what I had identified, I said we really need to pay attention to 30-minute charts, especially for the Russell 2000, which was confirming a TD9 count top, as well as the ES Mini. And both those suggest that price should pull back and uh, take a, and, and, ident and pull back towards support, which is exactly what the ES Mini did. So, so if there's anything that I see on an intraday basis, kind of a play-by-play, -play, you know, I put that in there, and then I provide folks with. Uh, with the data for the most popular stocks in most people's portfolios. Uh, so I take a look at different futures, whether it's uh, equity futures or metal futures or oil and gas futures, all the sectors inside the S&P 500, the top 10 NDX stocks, the top 10 Dow stocks, 
and a few others that subscribers have asked. And what this provides us with is it shows us exactly what the market condition is for the daily time frame and where the daily support and resistance levels are. And then what I do is I provide this is so there's really about three or four pages. That's all people have to really look at. and They get the entire gist of what's going on inside the market. So I'm covering exactly what's taking place in the ES Mini, the spot fix, the NQ, the Dow equity future contract, the Russell, the U.S. dollar index with gold, silver, copper, oil, natural gas. T bonds and T notes, and, and then and then the New York Stock Exchange Advanced Client Center. So I've given the the primary summary of exactly what's going on inside those instruments, and that's all that people really need to look at. Those that want to get a better feel for the market, I think, go on to take a look at what's transpired in the international markets or five top international markets: the Shanghai, Hang Seng, Nikkei, FTSE in the UK, and the DAX in Germany. So, for example, um, there's a nice trade set up here for the Shanghai. It formed a TD9 count bottom. It should go target that solid green line. That's a CD9 count breakdown level. Yes. The Hang Seng is in an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. The Nikkei is in an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. The FTSE's got some trouble out there. So the FTSE closed inside its uh, swing point. Uh, looks like maybe it was September 7th, 8th. I, I can't take pull that up right now. So it looks like that might want to go target that low. In the case of the DAX, the DAX actually formed a roads momentum indicator top, but it found support at that little green line, that green oscillator change line. Okay. So its overall, overall signal is really neutral, but it gives folks uh, uh, the opportunity to take a look at what's going on in an international basis. I then take a look at the U.S. dollar index and the five currency pairs that make up uh, uh, that weight, and we can see this little sideways move that you've been talking about out here. It does have a, a bottom pattern, but just a sideways move. Uh, after that, then I go into all of the... Um, uh, all the detail of all those instruments that really have been covered above, but this provides folks with uh, my multi-panel time frame. And, and what's the, amazing, and Steve, is that, and folks, you, you gotta check it out, man. I mean, just please check it out, because you just heard Steve as he's explained it. The amount of information that he has in these three pages is extraordinary. I'm telling you it's extraordinary. And if you and, and get it yeah. and just look at it, okay, I don't care if you're brand new in the business, you will learn these correlations, man. I mean, hey, it, look, yeah. the motto of, of TFN is educating investors. Oh, no doubt, man. Right. And you do yeah. an amazing job. Because those. Know, so we're, 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 here, we're, here to, we're here to teach people and to help them to be able to do this on our own, uh, do this on their own out there. And so what's cool about providing all the intraday charts here is that it gives you a feel for understanding what's happening. Markets aren't just going to move in one direction. Right. Uh, you know, there's going to be, especially an intraday. And what's cool about the intraday charts is you can really get a feel for what's going on. And then, and then they do an end of day report. So it covers all of these sectors inside the S&P 500, the index ETFs, the indices and so forth. So I just wanted to give that as a quick, as a, as a just to give pe people a feel for an overview. You weren't here last week, but uh, we were doing, Jacob and I, we were taking a look at gold. And my suggestion there, you and I have talked about this. I believe we're in the next major bull market run. Just wanted to update people real quickly cool. here. Gold's going to form bar number eight of a TD9 count top this year okay. as, we end, as we exit 2024. If we take a look at the last TD9 count top on a yearly basis, it was the bar following bar number nine. This is suggestive that we may see gold rally for at least the next two years. That's so a beautiful be thing, man. Least, I like yeah, that. <laughs> totally. <laughs> and I think we will. You know, I shared with folks this morning how the gold was trading in all the major currencies and then how gold's trading in all of the uh, Middle East currencies. And we're, it's to be expected, but it's good to be visual to see what's really going on. And so absolutely. any pullback we might get could be rather limited. And folks, it's so easy to get to Steve's newsletter. You're already at TFNN. Go into newsletters. Matchroom probabilities right on the right. Get it. Steve, thanks so much, man. Have a great one, safe one. Look forward to show tomorrow Tom. morning. You bet. Take care. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it